In this video, we're going to check out the Hapax OS 2.0 Beta A firmware. So there's a lot of new features, and I decided I'm just going to go down the change list and read it. Eventually, I'll be doing deep dives into the features. Before I read the change list, let's just actually check this out. So this is plugged into my JU06. So now we have note preview, so check it out. So now we can see the notes, we can hear them when we add them in, when everything is stopped. So let's press play. So I'm going to be jumping back here for just a couple of things to illustrate some of the changes, but for the most part I'm just going to read this. So if you want to read it yourself, feel free to go to the link in the description. So now we have 16 patterns per track instead of 8. That is a massive upgrade here. We just doubled our patterns. Auto load, we can auto load the last project saved. We have a new mode called mix and mute. Now we can do multi-track recording, that's massive. We also have new effects, echo and output. And automation, there's this new thing called algo curves. In track mode, we can now export the pattern to a MIDI file. We can also import the MIDI file to a pattern. Next we see step follow needle. So I'm just gonna zoom in here and press play. We're gonna see the screen actually jump to the next screen as it plays. Zoom back out. And of course, note preview when adding a step when it stopped. So I just illustrated that in the beginning. We can do a quick step length with two fingers. So if I, if I press a note and do a tail, it actually adds a, the tail. There's a new math parameter, no effects. The event will bypass the effects chain. There's also step poly, it adds algo curves, pitch destination improved algo curves ux and adds more curves and parameters pattern we can tell the tracks all to stop that's why i'm assuming that means i'm not sure there's also pattern follow actions so when a pattern's done you can tell what to do next also we have custom pattern colors so in the pattern we can change the colors in the project we have p scale stick up stick down and filter also in the settings track latency compensation we have more assignable actions for pedal we have retrig gate outputs we have a new option, Sync In Clock Source MIDI Auto Detection. For live mode, we have new parameter to select the velocity of the matrix pads. We also have a new parameter to select the RGB view. Shows notes in the pattern and shows a scale and chromatic view. Bug fixes, so save as or load was randomly unclickable. Track quantize was not reset after a new project. Step rotate, move left right was not displayed on LEDs and overall stability improvements. So settings misc, a new screen submenu for anti-flicker options. So as you can see, the screens are not flickering because I actually used that option before I filmed. Choose your color with HSL instead of RGB. We have screen saver, we have save load. Project browser now supports delete and click to delete a project. Selections now require two hold pad actions. Quick presses are now used for the quick step length feature. So that's what we have so far. Feel free to check it out. Eventually I'll be doing more videos on Haypacks and we'll be diving in all the awesome new features. Thanks for watching.